G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. Today we're uh, with Justin from uh, Right In Sight Charters, which is uh, a guiding operation in New Smyrna Beach. Yeah. It's uh, about an hour and a, hour and a half from Orlando. Right. We've got a lot on offer. I mean, it's Florida's well known for its um, tarpon, which is an amazing fish in itself. But you've also got redfish, um, black, drum, black drum, large sea trout, some of the largest sea trout where they live. Yeah. Is here, you know, yeah, yeah, residents yep. of the spot. So, it's an, and it's an amazing fishery. You just look around; there's just an endless, endless supply of water. Yeah, and a, I mean, with that and a bunch of wildlife to look at yeah. throughout the day while we're fishing too. So, yeah, we had an early start this morning. She was pretty tough. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of the footage there. We uh, managed to hook a couple and lose them, but anyway, that's a different story for another time. But we've come in now to Mosquito Lagoon, mm -hmm. um, which hopefully will have some some redfish and some reasonable size ones as well and yeah. a few other species that'll be catering around there as well right yeah so the main thing is just finding them first and then yep. hope for the best after and that. i think that's what fly fishing is about sight if you can find them mm -hmm. see them then you're half a chance and it comes to down to the angler yeah unfortunately i've been blaming the guide for most of the day but i think i might have a bit to do with it Oh, yeah. Initially, if that fish doesn't jump and you get bit, strip strike hard. Yeah. And then when he jumps, you're going to have to, you know, remember, just lean forward. Yeah, that shouldn't Put be some slack right, in Because I won't be excited once the top and yeah. the fly. I won't be excited. I'll remember all that. So you saw where they came up. They were going left. Yeah. Yeah, so you want to try to predict where they are now. They're not moving fast. Yep. That looks good. Go ahead and go again. Come right more. Good. Good. Oh, he's to your right more. You see him snaking right yep. there? Come right, 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 right. Good. <clears throat> wait, wait. Wait, pop, 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 pop. He's stuck. Right there. No go. Nope. I thought this tarpon fishing was easy, Justin. Mm, uh, no. That's what I said in the brochure. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I didn't read it properly. Two. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Nearly. On, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Just get tight. Bump it. Come on. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that was good. Oh, and uh, let it go. Now, um, <laughs> Justin said a couple of things. When it takes it, strip strike, and when it jumps, get ready, because you've got to let the line go and bow to it and give it to it. And I said, I said, you know, I'm going to be a bit excited once I get the first hit. Well, that was the first hit, and I was probably a little bit excited then, Justin, and off it You uh, stayed went. stiff and tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. So um, that's pretty exciting. My heart's still going now, though. So <laughs> this is tarpon fishing. Uh, it's amazing, we're just getting Justin now, he's piling us uh, around these waters and you're seeing these tarpon roll and they look massive but you know to an Australian everything looks massive over here so um, they're incredible fish and we're putting a, a popper like a gurgler in front of them and just sort of popping along there and um, like that's what's supposed to happen except maybe with a better angler we might have caught that one but uh, or at, least, at least kept them on a, a little longer. Oh, that's right. A little, yeah. Like Tarpon that. fishing, you don't count the catches, you count the jumps. How many fish you jumped that day. Well, I normally because, count how many I scared, so we'll count how many jumps we get. That's yeah, right. that's yeah. your success. Good work. Thanks, and if mate. you land them, that's, that's a bonus. Perfect, yeah. You All see right. the way he was pushing up behind it? Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was textbook. We might see. There you go.
Awesome. Yeah. That was good. It was good-ish. Kita Lagoon is roughly 25,000 acres mixed up with islands and, uh, and water. Uh, average depth is three feet. So typically, most of the time, we're targeting our fish anywhere from four feet of water to six inches of water. Yeah. So. Okay, so we're going to look for these fish free swimming over the grass. So you're trying to look for that uh, silhouette of a fish in an orange hue. Uh, once you see a few, you'll get an understanding for what we're looking for. And also, we'll find these fish stationary. We call them, uh, you know, they're nosing in the grass, um, almost like waiting just to ambush anything that they want to eat that comes by. And they're quite hard fighters, red fish. Yeah. yeah. Big yeah. tails. You think they have a bit of power? Yeah, they do. And I mean, they just, no matter the size, they bite hard and they pull pretty good. Yep. No matter their size. And I think that's why they're so sought after. We're on light tackle and fly gear. Yeah. They don't give up easy. Look at that. That's what I was looking for. So it looks like they're all kind of balled up face and right. So yep. I don't want you to be over aggressive. So when you when you throw out, get it to the right of the fish or wherever we need to put it. Yep. You're gonna work the fly just like you were working the other one. Yeah. Just little bumps like this. Yep. Get the line tight, bump it. Yep. Not super fast. And if you feel something, just keep stripping the fly stripping. like you're yep. trying to feed them still sure. until you feel them pull. Because they they can take little. Uh, some quick swipes at it. I don't want yeah. you to miss the strike. There's a couple of tails in there. Just a few. You think they're hungry? Uh, yes. We're going to start thinking positive. Get ready here. Now you can virtually drop that fly right in those fish. Just don't lay the fly line itself over okay. top of them. Now get in that grip you see tailing. Yep. I think he still fell behind him. You need to be on the right side and fairly tight to those fish. Get inside of them good. There you go. Let it sink down. Start coming tight. Bump, 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 bump. There's one. Well, there you go. Well, that's pretty cool. Yep. Raw tip lower side. Yep, side pressure. He's not done yet. Where are redfish found? Just mainly in these sort of southern states? Anywhere from, uh, they catch small ones up as far north as uh, Delaware, and then all the way, all the way down to uh, the Texas coast. Yep. Now it's interesting, this one, he's, he's probably, I don't know, he's a fish, I don't care, I'm pretty happy about it. But some of the ones that we were casting to early this morning were like, yeah. They could nearly eat that fish. Yep. But I'm pretty keen to see one of these up close. Get him in there. Beautiful. Hold on. Yeah, lovely little red fish. Beautiful color Beautiful. on this fish. Yeah. First red fish on the fly run. Yeah. Spot, single spot, two spots on that side. See, that's Mother Nature's way of helping them flee away from predators like dolphins. They'll think dolphins would eat this head first. Yep. Dolphins will think that that's an eye, they'll go for the tail. Uh, Gives them a second to get away. Yep. Beautiful. A couple of pounds, lovely redfish. First one, they all count and uh, hold. get his breath back the same. There's no current, but uh, they just get some of that water through their gills and let him simmer away. Good to go. Beautiful. There you go. Took a while. Like it's uh, not as easy as what I thought, mate, but um, it's still stimulating. I think we use the word it's not uh, frustrating, it's challenging, you know, because you can see the fish and they're not always going to take it. But Yeah, it comes down to presentation. Yeah. But what? <laughs> Your presentation was good, apparently. Ah, oh, that time it was. Yeah. The other times, not so much. But I think it's so stimulating because you can see it. And we've been drifting along and you'd see one, try and get a cast in front. And then you come across a school like that. There's probably 
there could be 15, 20 fish in amongst those. And um, yeah, well, I suppose that adds a bit of aggression too when they're feeding. Oh, definitely a competition you know, so feed, yeah. certainly help. So. In all those fish, the way we saw them, they're they're all trying to feed at the yeah. same time. So sure. anything moving out in front of them like that, they're going to typically take. That's fine, because I'll take anything at the moment. So that was a ripper. Yeah, well, good. Okay. Thanks, yep. mate. Yep. Great guiding. That's what it comes down to. Yep. Good yeah. guiding. Yeah. <laughs> Good work. Get into them? Yeah. Bad. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Short. Strip in a little, and then just pick up nice and slow. They're mainly facing left, so pick up. Yep. Go ahead. Go left. Yep, good. Let it sit for a second. Okay. That was weird. Let's hold the person. Going, going to the, the right, right, going right, yeah. Try it. Oh, you ate yeah. it. Yeah. Nice job. Nice. Good. Thought they'd forgotten what that crab was. Well, when sometimes when these groups spook, a lot of them are just swimming because the others are. Yeah. They're still thinking about food. Good, that one did too, so that was good. Good job. Excellent, mate. So this is uh, a little crab pattern that uh, Justin's put in or swapped to for that in that schooling sort of system when they're in there. They're very aggressive towards crabs, and I guess they, um, as a group, they're all digging up that sand and, and really... Sifting through, and whatever has substance to it, they're taking. He's not one of the bigger ones that were in there, but... Yeah. Fish is a fish. That's it. Yeah. On a beautiful day like this, we've got... In Melbourne, it's uh, 8 degrees. Uh, and on the Mosquito Lagoon, it's probably about 33, which is perfect. So you don't mind whacking on some shorts and uh, getting a little bit of a suntan. just like a little bulldozer aren't they you know and, and no doubt the larger they get they would oh yeah go. yeah I mean yeah. into your backing without a problem yeah but we're doing baby steps you know we're getting the little ones first we're trying to then, you know. yeah I want to spoil you too quick no This is a slightly lighter rod too. This is a seven weight uh, from the, uh, the Scott. It's a beautiful rods, aren't they? You use oh, a lot yeah. of Scots. And there we go. I'll leave him over to you, mate. Beautiful. Good fish. Nice fish. That crab like it owed him money. Yeah. Well done. Beautiful. You sent him home to grow up to be a big one. Yeah. So when these uh, other guys come over to fish with you, mate, they can get him in a couple of years' time and he'll be twice as big. Beautiful. That's it. Well done, mate. Good job. Eyes again. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. There you go. That's redfish for you. Magnificent. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Pop it, pop it. But he's just missed it when oh, he's lunged yeah, for Yeah, he was tracking it. Can't catch every fish, every cast. A little tarp in there. 11 o'clock, going right. Good. Right there? Yep. Perfect. Rot it down quick. Pop, 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 pop. Pop. Then jump. Let him get a bow to him. Strip, 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 strip. You want? Strip, strip, strip. Well, that was longer than the last one. That's a good thing so far. 
<laughs> if it's indeed a tarpon. Yeah. Remember, just lean forward if, you, if it is one and he jumps. Yeah. That is a baby one. <laughs> but size isn't everything. <laughs> and it still counts. Depends on who you ask. Exactly, exactly. And we're just putting, you basically you just lean out towards the fish when he jumps. Jumps, yep. Give him the rod tip. Right, yep. So we've gone up to, this is the Indiana River, mm -hmm. and this is where a couple of little uh, uh, areas flow together, and it's brought a bit of bait fish, which has brought these little tarp on here as well. Yeah, this is like their little estuary, small tarpon. Yeah. And they grow obviously quite big. Like tarp on, you can get them to you know, six footers. Yeah. This one's a little bit less than six foot, but you know. They look the same no matter the size though. Yeah. The yeah. details and the fish and the scales and the profile of the face is the sure. same if it's this size or if it's 300 pounds. Yep. This on a little bait fish popper fly, they'd take that as a small little mullet or something like that. Is yep. that what they'd eat that for? And even though it's a little one, I'm playing it a little bit uh, more gently because we haven't caught a tarp on as yet. So we don't want to get too carried away with our uh, ability yet. Justin, do we? No. No. <laughs> you can be a little more aggressive afterwards. Yeah. On the next one. Now he ended up re-hooked, right. he, he yeah. re-hooked himself. So he may have thrown the hook. Yep. But that's, uh, you'll have a little closer look if uh, Justin can show you there. Usually their mouth's open because that's where the fly is. <laughs> yeah. no, well, it took quite a bit of skill to get him in the back like that. So they've certainly got a mouth for eating bait fish, haven't they? Yeah. This lovely golden colour or silver colour. Yeah, you get more golden too when they're uh, in this brackish water like yes. this. Yes. Nice looking scale pattern here. Yeah. Call that center scale pattern. That it looks like a, a nickel. Probably not an Australian nickel, but... Yeah. There you go. Off the duck. And there you go. You get with a, uh, a guide like Justin from um, Right Insight Charters down here. Justin? New, so, Smyrna, New Smyrna Beach. Yeah. It's an amazing place down here. You've got waterways, as you've seen, where we've come in. Huge expanse, perhaps some bigger tarp on. Uh, and then up to this little waterway where you've got some perhaps smaller ones and also like some other, you get some snook um, and then various other places we can go to redfish. So there's quite a variety of fishing that you can do here. So straight in front, 12 o'clock, going right. Yeah. Freak. Don't get the fly there. Nope. Careful. Lead him a little bit. I'm behind him. Oh, there's more fish there. Shit, shit. Nice. Oh, yeah. There we go. I didn't see those fish. Yeah. That's, yeah. What, it, that's what a good angler does. Eh? <laughs> well, I didn't either, mate, until the fly did the water. But that worked out pretty good. I'll take eh? it. Yeah. Shit, 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 shit. There's three or four there. I yeah. I was actually catching or pulling you over here because I was seeing color in the water, but then we saw that trout. Yep. Well, that was, yeah, a much more aggressive bit that. That was, I guess... Competition be, feed over yeah. less fish. And a bait fish pattern, as opposed to the crab that probably can't swim as fast, so they've got to be much quicker, yeah. Well, they don't want to exert a lot of energy to eat in this hot water either, so... Yep. A bigger meal. Yeah. And we just made mention before that the temperature was, what was it, 90? 90, 92 degrees in the shallows right now. We're yeah. fishing in about a foot and a half of water. Yeah. Middle of the summer. Which is Fahrenheit, but in Celsius that's... No, three of us have no idea, but that's hot. It's yeah. hot. It's hot. There you go, well, he's actually a bit smaller than what the other ones were, but for some reason had a bit more go on him. We'll bring him around the side. That was interesting. He's a bit smaller. Yeah, well, just yeah. But but he had more go in them than the others. Yeah. 
what's interesting, that spot, isn't it? Because they would see on that tail as another eye. Right? Yeah, and yeah. If a away. predator or a dolphin's going to come in to attack, they'll yeah. go for the tail first. Gives them a few extra seconds to get away. Yeah, great. Excellent, mate. Again, well done. Beautiful. I love this red fishing. You know, get a good yeah. guide. Yeah. Justin, you're a superstar, mate. You know? So, uh, yeah, great fun. Great fun. Great fun. Yeah.